Hello, welcome to my channel, Shine Your Light. My name is Amber, and this is going to be the intuitive energies and messages that I have picked up on for August of 2023. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me. And usually I go through kind of how the energy feels for me, uh, the themes that have come up, and any messages that I have received from spirit while tuning in. And for August, the energy feels to me a little different than most Leo seasons. Uh, usually Leo time feels like fast, high energy, quick, fun, excitement. This August feels like the time will fly by still, but it feels more introspective. And I believe that is because there are so many planets in retrograde this month. It still feels like Leo positivity is there, but we may need to remind ourselves a little bit of that at times. The themes that came up for August were heart and light expansion, use discernment with what you watch, listen to, and where you focus your attention, and make time for self-love. With the heart and light expansion, while tuning in, I saw a heart, and sometimes when I see heart expansion, the symbol for it shows up as the scene in the 1966 cartoon of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, when it shows his heart growing three times that day. <laughs> and I did see that. Uh, we do have the Lionsgate portal from approximately July 26th through August 12th, with the peak being on August 8th, which is 8-8. This is a very strong time for manifesting and abundance, expanding your heart, energetic upgrades, and stepping more into who you are. Uh, some people may feel like they want to lead more. It feels like there will be waves coming in, like waves of light, waves of energy, and that makes it feel like our bodies could be going through times of either more energy here and there, and then times of needing to rest while our bodies process these new energies and these expanded waves that are coming in. With the theme using discernment with what you watch, listen to, and where you focus your attention, I kept hearing that saying, where your attention goes, energy flows, and it just kept popping into my head. This is a time of very strong manifesting, so be sure that what you focus on is what you want to see more of, be more of, strive for, or to manifest in your life. It feels like some of the media or news may be changing things up some. Maybe it's a way of testing us, if you will. Uh, it feels like there may be new or different ways of creating a different kind of narrative or things that are putting focus towards things that are not necessarily in our best interest. It kind of feels like we're being sidetracked a little bit. It does feel like a good time to break away from whatever media or social media or entertainment that does not make you feel good. Again, with the emphasis on where you put your focus. And there's a feeling of uh, be prepared for more of what you are focusing on. With the theme self-love, that felt like with so many planets in retrograde this month and going into retrograde later in the month, it feels like it's a time of reflecting, 
reconsidering, reassessing, reevaluating, reexamining what we want, what feels important, relationships of all kinds how we spend our time, and releasing what no longer feels right for us. This is normally what retrogrades can make us feel like, but this just feels stronger to me this month. It does feel like there could be a possibility that some could get a little bit caught up into some of this, some of this reflecting, um, almost to the point of confusion. So this will be a reminder to make time for yourself. Take care of yourself and don't forget to celebrate yourself. If you have been putting your needs aside more often than not, regardless the reason why, it is a time to prioritize some things for yourself, possibly reorganize or apply a compromise to make sure that you are not depleting yourself. When tuning in, I saw a lotus flower or a water lily, which is a symbol of spiritual enlightenment and awakening. Possibly this represented more and more people opening up to expanding consciousness. I then saw a dark forest and received the message No matter how dark things look, you light the way. Your light is expanding. And then when tuning in for a message for what we need to know at this time, I felt a big expansion in my chest, in my heart space. And what came through was, when you expand your heart, you expand your light. This will help lead you. This will help lead you into the highest vibrational timeline for you at this time. Let love and light guide you. Your paths and choices will be many, but your free will takes you on this adventure. There is no right or wrong. No right path, no wrong path. No right turn, no wrong turn. This life is for you to experience, to make choices, to live fully to love fully, and to learn. And with that, I wish you the very best this month. I thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this. And if you feel comfortable sharing what you are picking up on for this month or your feelings, I would love to read them in the comments. Thank you again. Until next time. (music) 